Hi. <laughs> I've just finished unpacking my room. It's nice, yeah. It all just seems to have happened so quickly though. I mean, one minute I'm sat at home, bored, doing nothing. The next I'm here. Although I'm not quite sure where here is yet. I'm gonna go and have a look around. I'll let you know my progress. See the future. See the future. So that's what they've been saying about this experiment. No pressure then. If only they knew what the ramifications of this would be. Donna, are you okay, my dear? And pour the waters of the Nile on every golden scale. I should explain myself a little bit before I go on. Donna is one of the most human people I have ever met. She feels everything and empathises with everything she sees, which is extensive. Unfortunately, this has proved too much at times, and she seemingly slips into states where she mumbles incoherent phrases. It's extraordinary. What becomes of these mumblings is the interesting part, however. When she makes sense of other messages or visions she sees and enters a kind of trance, it's amazing to witness in itself a moment of pure clarity. Would it be any use to speak to this man? It doesn't seem so to listen to each person separate, but together they form an narrative in her mind, which seems to be a vision of the future. What becomes of these mumblings is the interesting part, however, when she makes sense of all the messages or visions she sees in her mind and enters a kind of trance. What is haunting and tragic about these visions is that they are almost always violent. She talks of murder in every moment of clarity, and to hear her talk is to believe her. She is so rational, so heartfelt and concerned, and above all, sane. Killed okay, tell me about it. I promise we will help. She was her friend, but she will kill her, John. We need to find her. Who is she, Donna? Tell me how I can find her. Hi again. I'm back. It's been two days. I'm starting to feel like I'm drowning a bit. Some of this place is just absurd. It's silent during the day, then noisy during the night. It's like everyone's nocturnal. And as for a so-called freshers week, I can tell you I haven't felt remotely fresh from the moment I got here. I'm not sure I belong here. I hardly know who I am at present. I'm being forced along again tonight. It's fancy dress, but I haven't got anything to wear. Anyway, I'll best be off. Some of the people I live with are having vodka in their tea. I think I'm among mad people. But when I tell them they're mental, they just agree and say, we're all mental. It's fresh as week. Although I think I must be mad for coming here. Nearly ready for our first run of a cognitive vision technology. If it works, then we should be able to see exactly what Donna sees. We can share her burden, and if she's really gifted, we'll be able to see the future. Hold on, Donna. Hold still. Flamingo's head won't stay straight. Hold still. Donna, is this what you see? My head. You're in my head. Donna, is this going to happen? 
controlling my thoughts. Donna, this is important. Is this girl going to die? They always die. Die over and over again. Donna, who is she? She's caught in a world she doesn't understand. It's forcing her to do strange and scary things. Opening her eyes to truth, when all she really wants to do is keep them shut. Will she kill this other girl? It was an accident. She didn't mean it. When will this happen? Stop. Don't do it. Don't do what? Doesn't matter. Just come with me. What's happening? Don't think about it. Just stop what you're doing. Have the right to think. Hey, what's going on here? This weirdo's trying to kidnap her. I came to stop this girl from committing murder. Hang on, hang on. What happened here? Don't be a hero. This girl was about to kill that girl over there. No, I wasn't. What did you see? I saw her smash her head on the stairs over there. But that never happened. Wait. You're Arjun Anderson. Are you basing all this on the story of some mental patient? But it all happened the way she saw. Apart from bloody murder, call me crazy, we wouldn't normally associate ourselves with crimes that haven't bloody happened yet. You don't understand, she needs to be locked up. It's not sentence first and verdict second in this bloody country. You're free to go. But... But nothing. You need to leave before I arrest you for wasting police time. There's two more. Two more what? Two more like me. 